This video will help you get your GoPro videos to your PC easily. Watch till the end for more tips. Hi there, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. So most of you may have GoPro cameras, as it's a well-known and popular device for content creators. However, transferring GoPro footage to your system can be tricky. But don't worry, whether you use Mac or Windows, this tutorial will help you find your answer. Also, don't miss the bonus part in today's video. There are three popular ways to get your files onto your PC. The first is using an SD card adapter. This is the most straightforward and often the fastest method, especially if you have a lot of large files. To do this, remove the micro SD card from your GoPro. Make sure to turn your camera off for this process. Now insert the micro SD card into the SD card adapter. Then insert the adapter into your computer's SD card slot if it has one. If it doesn't, you can use a USB card reader as well. Now open File Explorer by pressing Windows key dot E and locate the SD card under this PC. Now double click on the SD card, then the DCIM folder, then the 100 GoPro folder. Here you'll find your footage. Select the files you want to transfer and copy them to the desired location on your computer's hard drive. From macOS, insert your SD card into your system the same way. Then open Finder and you should see the SD card listed under Devices. Double click on the SD card and navigate to the DCIM folder. Here you will find all of your GoPro files. You can then copy and paste these files to your desired location on your Mac. You can also automatically import with the Photos app on your Windows system. This method is more convenient for quick imports and it automatically organizes your media. First connect your GoPro to your computer using the USB cable. Then on your Windows system you will get a prompt. Now choose Import Photos and Videos to open the Photos app. From here, select the photos and videos you want to import and click Import Selected. Then choose where you want to save the files and click Continue. There's also a manual way which will give you the combined experience of the automatic and SD card adapter method that I've just mentioned. This method also gives you more control over where and how you organize your files. To do this, you have to connect your GoPro to your computer using the USB cable. Now open File Explorer by pressing Windows key dot E, then locate your GoPro under this PC. It may also show as GoPro MTP Client Disk Volume. So double click on your GoPro, then the DCIM folder, then the 100 GoPro folder. Here you can select the files you want to transfer and copy them to the desired location on your computer's hard drive. However, if you are using a GoPro Hero 9 Black and Hero 8 Black, then make sure that your GoPro is set to MTP mode. To set your GoPro to MTP mode, you have to swipe down on your GoPro's touch screen to access the dashboard. Then swipe left to navigate to the preferences menu. Here tap on connections, then USB connection. Now select MTP from the available options. Your GoPro should now be in MTP mode, which will allow you to transfer files when connected to a computer. If you're using macOS, you can also use image capture. This is an app that allows you to import photos and videos from your camera. For this, you have to connect your GoPro to your Mac using a USB cable. Open Image Capture and select your GoPro from the sidebar. You can then select the photos and videos you want to import and click Import. Lastly, there is another way to get your GoPro files on your PC, which is by using the GoPro Quick app. But here is a catch. It only works on macOS and not on Windows. Also, this feature is correctly supported only on the Hero 7 Black or earlier cameras. Newer cameras may or may not work as expected when connected via USB cable. Quick for Desktop could be useful as an official app, but ironically, this is not a good option for everyone and sadly it does not support importing files larger than 4 gigabytes. So please use one of the methods I've already mentioned if the files are larger than 4 gigabytes. However, Quick is a great app for GoPro files to edit, but that's only limited to MacBooks and you need a GoPro subscription to get the full potential of the Quick app. And that's why I have a far better alternative option, which is the Wondershare Uniconverter. It's available both for Windows and for Mac. It's an all-in-one toolbox for video enthusiasts. It's literally a one-stop shop for downloading, converting, editing and even screen recording, not to mention all the AI tools that it has. 
You can transform videos into over a thousand formats, compress large files and add watermarks, create GIFs and even burn DVDs. With this intuitive interface and advanced features like GPU acceleration, the Wondershare Uniconverter makes video processing a breeze, both for beginners and for professionals. It's perfect for content creators, vloggers, educators or anyone who regularly works with video content. Now let's say that you want to trim GoPro footage. So open the Uniconverter and go to the Editor tab. Here choose the Trim tab and now it will ask you to import your files. Now you can import those files directly from your GoPro. Just click on Add from Camcoder and here select all the files that you want to trim. So here you can easily trim the beginning and the end or make cuts and then just delete the parts that you don't need. And if you want to crop the frame of your GoPro videos, click on the Crop tab. You'll be taken to the cropping window where you can crop the video. You can also rotate it and flip it. You can also manipulate the aspect ratio of the video by clicking the drop down menu in the right side toolbar. Once you're done, simply tap on OK to crop and save the video. And it doesn't end yet. You can also add effects to your video. To do that, just click right here on the effects icon. And here you can find your creative options. You can adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, or you can also apply preloaded filters to give it a unique touch. And once you're done with your editing, click on save and then click on start all to export your video or videos. And that's it guys. I hope that you've found all the answers that you were looking for. And don't forget to check out the Wondershare Uniconverter. You're not going to regret it. Check out other videos on the channel and give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.